Hello, hello. And welcome to the Zeke the Fox Variety Channel. Awa, awa, awa. Cool. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. So yeah, I'm Zeke the Fox, this is a variety channel. I specialize in console gaming, for the most part, for now. We're playing Sly 3 now, for the first time. After playing the other two, I'm just like, I'm gonna do all of them. So we're gonna start with three to go on. I specialize in being cute, oh, thank you. Ah. Oh. Is there anything else I should say before I get started here? Mm. Oh, uh, I mean, there's commands for my Discord schedule and VODs. If anyone's interested in those and hasn't checked them out already, please press exclamation point and any of those to summon them. The commands are also on my About page itself. And without further ado, we shall start Sly 3. This is it, Sly. The gang's assembled and are in position to help you get up to that vault. For the rest of the operation, you are the ball. Roger, Bentley. I'm starting my approach. Getting over these fortress walls shouldn't be a problem. Look, we're running five by five here. Make sure everyone's in sync. I hear that. Artillery, sure you can make that shot? I endeavor not to miss. Excellent. Radio control. In position. Recovery team. On pump. Submersibles. Showtime, baby. Telekinetics. I gotta die. All right, it's the crime of the century and the ball's in motion. Uh, our team seems to have gotten a lot larger since the last game. There's a lot of silhouettes. Two behind. Two behind, actually. I don't think anyone should. It's redundant and unnecessary and not helpful. Ball requesting door via Agent Mono. Over. Launching. Stand clear. Yeah, Homer Morphic, where are you from again? I forget. BC? Or is it BC? It's the scratch one. The way. The one that doesn't. Agent Team 6, deploy! Oh, cool. Down. I'm reading both force fields down. Strong work, Team 6. Every time. How's your wife doing, Richards? Oh! Very well, Dr. M. Thank you for asking. Very thoughtful. Mm -hmm. And your son, uh, what's his name? Mike? Mark, sir. He, he's well, too. Yeah. Oh, it just didn't trigger. Because they weren't on board yet. Uh, sir? Afraid I poisoned your drink at lunch. Sorry, Richards, but I don't tolerate poor performance. Should have changed the security code from one, two, three after you install 
build the new system. I'll improve, I swear. No, you'll die any second now. Oh. 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 Wow. Death by poison already. Yes. Water leaking into the lab. I'm on my way down. Oh, and get a janitor for the lab elevator. Richard has got sloppy. The Cooper vault is just across these wires. I'm en route to your position for the loot hall. Over. The vault? Slaz treasure vault. The ancestor's vault. Thing they didn't change it yet. Huh? Let's mush this in here. Mush activation. Be Sly Cooper, the new keeper of the cane. Oh, how I long for this. This vault belongs to the Cooper family. You're trespassing. No, my naive boy, you're trespassing. I've got the deed to this island. This fortress is mine. Everything here is mine, which now includes the key to the vault. Hand over that cane. Sorry, pal. Family heirloom. Buy a knockoff at the gift shop. Bentley! Quick, let's regroup with the others. Follow me! The Koopa treasure is mine. It does for him! Poseidon Adventure? Is that the flipped up over ship where people tried to do good and weren't good at it? Lord Tsar, thank you for the hippets. Wah. Wah. We are almost home free. Ah, another one. Yay. Thank you. Wah. Ah. There's no escape, Koopa. Isn't there though? I would think the way to escape is to fight you. Smash! Oh, his health bar is stupid. Help me out here! It's not working! Save yourself! If he wants to eat, eat this! Uh, you need that cane, Sly. That probably wasn't a good move. Sly, no! Hold on, Sly! Hold on! Problematic. It was like they always say. Your life really does flash before your eyes. There it all was, stretching back to my childhood. And Born into a family of master thieves that went back for generations, I was next in line to continue the Cooper name. But fate had different plans. I was robbed of my childhood when a ruthless gang attacked our home. The orphanage I landed in wasn't all bad. It was there that I met my lifelong friends. Bentley, he's always been the thinker. 
and Murray. He's the doer. We'd stuck together over the years, and our skill, our confidence, and our thieving reputation grew stronger with each heist. We thought that the good times would never end, and that our luck would never run out. Which only made things tougher when the odds finally caught up with us. Then I met this guy, McSweeney, who claimed to have run with my father's crew back in their heyday. They pulled jobs all over the world and amassed quite a collection of priceless items. It was then that McSweeney told me all about the Cooper Vault. It seemed that my father, like all my ancestors, had been hiding their wealth in a secret place for generations, each one adding to the treasure hidden behind a door that if McSweeney's story is true, only a Cooper can open. Using some well-placed clues provided by McSweeney, we set out for the secret island that held the vault. On arriving, we discovered someone by the name of Dr. M had already set up shop. From the looks of it, he'd been trying to crack the thing for years, growing steadily more frustrated in his failures and more paranoid as the decades rolled by. He built himself a fortress with security as tight as Fort Knox. Getting inside the place would take precision, creativity, and moreover, it would take an army of world-class thieves. Finding and bringing together that much talent won't be easy, but to get inside the Cooper Vault and collect my inheritance, I was willing to pay the price. Bop, 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 bop. Ooh. Flashy. When the following icon appears, yes, I know what save icons are. They're the loading bars that happen when there's no loading bars. Wait a minute, what? Two player. Beginning of the end. Jobs and challenges. I did it. What? Oh. Next area. I got it sectioned off like a level. If we're gonna make it to the Cooper Vault, we'll need to perfect our thieving skills. I've rigged this place to push us to our limits. Oh, I'm really? Awesome. I'm levers start the different trainers. That's right. Each will initiate a streamlined crash course in grand larceny. I'll head for the control room, and we'll get things started. Dish it out. I'm ready. Dish it out. What's this one? Press circle to learn. Okay, all great thieves have one thing in common. A ton of cash? No, they never get lost. Use the right analog stick to look around the hazard room. Try to find the Cooper gang marker I projected. Great. Now press down on the L3 button to ping a waypoint. Ping a waypoint. That's handy. I agree. These holographic markers are an invaluable tool for finding your way around in the field. Notice how the logo moves to the destination? Try clicking the L3 button a few more times to get the hang of it. Okay, head for the waypoint and we'll commence phase two. I've programmed in a new mission destination. Press L3 to find it. The cool thing here is that if you don't have line of sight, the waypoint will up. Perfect. Now everyone knows that a thief's best friend is a rooftop. Provided he doesn't break his neck getting up there. Not a problem for a man with your jump. It's getting skills. down. Hit the X button for a standard jump. Then hit the X button a second time while in the air for an extra high double jump. All right, Bentley. What's next? As you know, it's very useful to survey guards from the rooftops. To do that, we'll have to be able to look down at them. 
Let me guess. Use the right analog stick? Yep. Try to find the marker I'm projecting down there. Done. Excellent. Now look up at that pillar. I'm projecting another marker. Okay, okay, okay. I look up. There it is. Up. Great. Now put all these skills to use and get to the remaining waypoints. Should be easy if you ping them with the L3 button and look around. Wow, there's more tutorial in this one than the other two games combined. Nice one down. Good job, Sly. You made it. You're now ready to take on the meanest of navigation tasks. The tutorial. That's the meanest. Meanest of all. Oh, now we got actual danger. You picked up a lot of skills after reading the previous raccoon. Heck of a page turner, that book. Let's see if you remember them all. Check out those small points on that wire. You can land on them light as a feather using your ninja spire jump. Easy. I just jump and hit the circle button. Exactly. Try getting over to the other platform. Okay. Bounce. Bounce. Easy peasy. Looking good, Sly. You know how I love the second story work. Sure, but how do you feel about tight spaces? Try getting through the small opening in that wall. Feel about tight spaces. When you're close to crawl inside. Very nice. Zerg. Nice job, Sly. You're a credit to the Cooper name. Should hope so. I'm the only one that's alive. Ba 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 ba. We're all done in here. Let's head outside and get this operation underway. Good. Door, door. Yay, door. I also noticed Bentley's in a wheelchair. God, his feet thoroughly chomped by metal bird clockwork. Getting inside a world-class vault would take a team of world-class thieves, a group of specialists, each member contributing their own particular talent. It was clear that we needed Murray back. Not only was I missing a lifelong friend, but his brute strength helped get us out of more than a few scrapes in the past. When Bentley was injured during the whole clockwork affair, Murray blamed himself, eventually leaving the team. We tried to console him, but going out on his own was something he needed to do. He said he wanted to find his spiritual center. We got word that Murray ended up in the Australian outback where he studied a mystic art called the dream time from an aboriginal guru. From all accounts, things went pretty well, and his teacher even sent him on a walkabout to locations all over the globe to complete the training. Latest reports have cited Murray in beautiful Venice, Italy, but what he's doing there is a mystery. I just hope he steers clear from the local mob boss, Octavio. Growing up, this guy used to be a real celebrity in the neighborhood. Everyone loved to hear him sing opera and said he was destined to be the next great tenor. But just as his career started to take off, musical tastes changed. Suddenly, it was all about rock music and no one wanted to listen to opera. Is that the Beatles? I think that's the Beatles. He held on to a few fans and it was these mobsters that took him into the business. Heading onto this guy's turf was dangerous, but worth it for a chance to make things right with Murray. An opera of fear. I mean, 
I've been to Phantom of the Opera, but that was like the heavily known one. I haven't like sat through an opera at a stage before. It's cool to have all those instruments playing at once and everyone's like knows what they're doing when it's a big group of instruments like that together. Ooh, Ferris wheel. Wow, Paris got a lot bigger. Buy gadgets. The alarm clock and the smoke bomb. The alarm clock was Sly's. Because Bentley needs it now. And honestly, Bentley needed power-ups that actually helped be stealthy. Given Murray's criminal past, it seems logical to start our search at the local police station. If he's not already in custody, the cops are sure to have leads on all the crooks in Venice. Uh, oh, uh, guys. Like, lead number one. Probably the billboard on the outside of the building that says, Hi, here I am. I'm a bad guy. I owned a business. And I'm so stealthy about where my operation lies. Like, how good of a cop do you need to be to know that that's the hideout? That's, my, that's really my point. Okay, I can't climb that. I thought I could. Not that either. Right here. Boing. No, get out of here. I want money. Ah! I got my head pet again! Ah! Thank you, homeomorphic. Uh, appreciate it. Whoa. Excuse me, kitty. You need to not dodge. I can't believe you dodged that many times anyway. Wah! Thank you for the fox noises. Wah 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 wah. Wah! Click the L3 button to find a job. It's time to get started. Or I could like beat up more guards, but oh, is that what that does? Like these are traps. These are traps. There's just traps everywhere. That's kind of cool. I don't remember that. What? I got on the boat. Boo. Boat. Okay, maybe. Whoa. Whoa, I'm up here now. Didn't want to go all the way back there. Oh man, that'd be beautiful. That massive dome marks the Venetian police station. Cops around here really like to make an impression. I'm afraid it's a losing battle. 
Don Octavio runs the show in this neighborhood. It's his security forces patrolling the streets, not the cops. Noted. Huh. Looks like I found my way inside. Well, that dome is covered in glazed tile. There's no way to climb up there. Oh, come on, Bro. pal. There's always a way. It's like, have you seen me climb, Bentley? That makes sense. He owns the cops. So there's no cops. Hey, Murray? Is that you? Daddy, I named the stain on my pants, bro. What? Oh, hello. Cooper, you got some fuzzy dice to come around here. Dimitri, long time no punch. See you're still in jail. And you still a cracker box. Let's get past the name calling and get to business. Looking for me, man, Murray, eh? Sorry, but I'd rather see you get busted big time. God! Valencia! Wait. I gotta think of something to keep him quiet. Uh, flatter him. He's got a big head. Where's that generous nature you're so famous for? I always pegged you as the bigger man in these types of situations. I'm a big man. Big with the payback and the sex appeal. <laughs> got that end? I control the beat on this track. You're just the dancer. If those cops get their mitts on me, who's gonna break you out of jail? You might get this cell door open, but the cops would throw down and bust me on the way out. And then I'll get the double sentence. <laughs> He's right, it'll be tough getting him out of here. I need a plan. Uh... Take him with me up to the air vent. Look. I got in here through an air vent. We can both use it to escape. I can't fit in no vent. You spy my macho frame. I'm packing too much sexy muscle to fit in vent like you stick to. Uh, what are you... Okay, what? You are a stick dude, my dude. Uh, I mean, I could distract them. How about I get the cop's attention, then run for it? Once they're all outside shooting at me, you can slip out no problem. No, that's a plan I can get behind. Dimitri is free and Cooper is cooked. Key for sale is in head cut lady's office. Okay, great. This other lock won't be a problem. I should be able to crack it by hand. Get me out of here and I'll find Murray. No sweat. Just keep on the down low and out of sight near them coppers, bro. They're a bad bunch of bunnies. Bad bunch of bunnies. Attention, police. Are they literally bunnies? I thank you for your patience, but we're now ready for the presentation. As we all know, the canals of Venice have been mysteriously filling with tar for the last month. No one is sure of the cause, but the effects have been devastating on the local wildlife and tourist trade. Our sources believe that this man, Don Octavio, is potentially responsible for the disaster. Fortunately, we've got no but they look like they're hippos, actually. The rhinos. To receive a warrant to search his opera house mansion. So also, hi, Carmelita. Why are you here? The old this is not Paris. This is Venice. Hired you. Nice work. Head back to Dimitri's cell and free him. If he's true to his word, we'll be talking to Murray in no time. Let's get back to business. Now, where was I? 
Hold tight, boys. The power's on the fritz again. It'll calm down in a few minutes. Better make sure you're under a desk when the lights come back on. <laughs> I can see, da! I can see! Make up your mind already. Let there be light. Shush! This is sucking. Very, very quiet. You don't want to disturb the police. Da, 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 the laughter of actually. Like the grave, huh? <laughs> Nobody remembers. Dimitri's the first boss of the second game. He kicked his tail. Can you really crack this coconut? Sure. Just takes a light touch. Cool. Let's see some shine, bro. I swear, you spring me, and I'll hook you up with that plump dog, Mary. Dig? This safe will be tough to crack, but I've seen you open harder locks. Slowly rotate the left analog stick until you feel a vibration. Stop, then go in the other direction, again feeling for the vibration. Then a reverse direction again, and stop when you get the third vibration. Once the green light goes on, let off the stick and you're in. What? Got it. I'll do like I promised and distract the cops so you can make your escape. Solid. Don't worry, no mind. Straight way our password for Murray to find you. Meet at Rialto Bridge. Big Italian land. Okay, guess it's showtime. Hello, assorted meatheads and lady. Anyone <laughs> feel like some exercise? Cooper, grab him, man. And I'm out. He's got his girlfriend to, to run around with again. Chase me, Carmelita, chase me. You've got some serious nerve showing up in my squat room. I was concerned we were growing apart. Then let's spend some quality time together in my interrogation cell. So forward. What happened to the demure girl I used to know? She grew up and stopped taking grief from guys like you. Guys like me? Are you saying I've got some competition for your affections? You're the only man in my sights right now. Damn right I am. I'm so cute and you're a little bit trigger happy, Carmelita. Just a little low. People share voice actors all the time. I wouldn't put it past them to have a main character in one game become a character in another, you know? Especially when the games are far enough apart in release time. Greetings, old Inspector Fox! Man, you're in it again! Hope that manual works both ways. That's right! Hide in the sewers like the rat you are! Aw, oh, you know you like him. I owe you one. Again. Of course, Searcher. We are all in need of peace. You're really whole hog on this Dreamtime stuff, huh? My mind is clear. 
Like the woodland after a forest fire. Listen, Murray, we need you back on the team. That thing with Bentley, it wasn't your fault. He doesn't blame you for the wheelchair. Sorry, Sly. I walk a different path. My guru and his wisdom told me to lose myself and not return until the black water ran pure. So here I stay. You sure he didn't tell you to get lost and not come back until you've cleaned out the water filter? Come on! I'm on a real <laughs> spirit quest here! <laughs> sorry. Sorry. Tell me everything. I've missed you, pal. Well, it's a long and awesome story. You got any gum? You got any gum. Job complete. Awa. Whole one percent. Murray refuses to join the gang until the commitment to his guru has been fulfilled. Whether we like it or not, we've got to deal with Venice's tar problems in order to, as Murray puts it, make the black water run pure. It is not the same voice actor. Inspector Fox's fine detective work. We already know that Don Octavio is somehow connected. As non-law operatives, we'll be able to tackle the situation in a more head-on fashion. First, we break into Octavio's opera house. If he's hiding anything, we'll find him. We should also keep a close eye on the dog. Some photographic evidence of him connected to the tar might be enough to get the old mobster put away. Of course, meanwhile, I'll monitor local communication frequencies. With some luck, we might pick up some quality intel. Ruth Livier. What else did you do? Something about Doctor Strange? Huh. New training challenges awarded for... I don't want to play those. No, I know how to play a Sly and Bentley. Someone in Dead Rising 3? Oh! Them, okay, yeah. Neat! Bentley has a job. And I have no money still. So, Bentley, let's do your job. Pretty nice location for them to choose. Jella Gelateria. Is that the real word for it? Is it like a gelatin place or a bakery? Gelateria. They'll terrorize you with gelatin if you come too near. They're like, look at it wiggle. Gelatin hey, desserts. Sly, you better get over here. My sources tell me that Octavio has hired the Blue Viper Gondola Gang to take out Carmelita. The Blue Vipers? Those guys are nasty. We've got to get to them before they get to her. She's off on her daily patrol. The thugs can't be far behind. On my way. Just make sure to have one of those police boats hot-wired by the time I get there. 
Let's see, just cross the blue wire with the red wire and shazam! Just in time. There go the vipers. I'll shoot. You drive, Sly. Okay. We gotta protect the fox. This canal is packed with shipping. Make oh god, sure wow, that's fast. We're sunk. Let's take these guys out. Playing and this looks annoying. A little bit, a little bit. It's not too bad. They shouldn't have health bars as high as they are for what I'm trying to accomplish. I think, anyway. It's a cool segment and the controls feel okay. They're also pretty sensitive. You'll just swing over really far if you press it too hard. This is one of the first missions you do, though. Like, I would have saved this for later. The jet ski kind of race. Oh, okay. Die again. Why are there so many obstacles? I'm jumping more than I'm able to shoot anything. You'll smoke, but you won't explode. Will you explode now? Explode all over my face. Or uh, not that. Away from my face. Damn it! I was. Gondolas and bridges you can destroy.
These crates are made of metal, so they're not actually destructible. They looked like wood initially, but they're made of metal for sure. So you can't break those. Ah! This is the kind of minigame you're mastering because you've done it so many times in a row. Uh, it's gonna be that way, I think. Stop hitting all the boats. Yeah, I hadn't thought of that. Scratch one blue button. Oops, bridge. Damn it. Is this? Oh God! Fucking dead again. And you know how they knew it was hard and BS? The music doesn't get interrupted. They just keep it going, so they know you're coming back repeatedly. They knew. That's how you know they knew. Whiskey. Thank you for a head pat. It's okay. Yes. Way to go. That's the end of the blue vipers. Also, we magically went through that crate. A well bet is okay. Another uneventful We were saving patrol. the girlfriend. This city's beautiful, but a bit quiet for my taste. Quiet? There's a drug boss that owns the police and you don't even know. I hope you realize that by saving Carmelita, we're only making our operation here more difficult. Maybe so, but what's the fun in stealing if there's nobody trying to catch you? Besides, she's helped us out in the past. That and you've got a thing for her. And I've got a thing for her. Look, I'll stash this <laughs> boat. It might be useful for later. You stay out of trouble. So, yes, I have a thing for her. <laughs> it's kind of why I like three a lot because like they reference a lot of the old adventures as well on top of the stuff that's happening. Kind of connecting dots and stuff. Can I pickpocket you yet? I can't. Guess I want to boink the fox. Tell me you don't. Not me. I mean Carmelita. Sly loves her so much. He has to flirt with her every time. And also rescue her every time. Also, there she is, right there, moonwalking. What the fuck are you doing? Hi, Carmelita. Are you, uh... You on patrol? Okay. <laughs> I, I don't know what I was expecting, but it wasn't that. Now that I got Bentley around to the right spots, I can take him back to the safe house and get Sly for the other missions. And to rob some people because I have no money. 
And I definitely need some at the start of the game where there's a lot less. Or a lot less available doing the main missions anyway. No, I'm stealthy. I'm only in an electric wheelchair with rocket powers. Oh shit. Click the L3 button to find a job. We've got work to do. Who shoots a turtle in a wheelchair, by the way? Like that already makes you a level of grime that you they didn't. Well, they did factor it in, but like. She is, because she's clueless and joins the side that's corrupt already every time. But she is. She's patrolling with the mobsters. They already ordered a hit on her within us being here like for like one job. They already tried to get her killed. And we're like, we better save her because she's a bad cop, but she's a good friend. And he has a thing for her. meaning to go to this safe house, but I kept rolling past it. We... Okay. Now for the classic formula of Sla. And being able to climb, because it's a lot more frustrating when you can't. With Bentley. Give me all your money. And then be quiet about it. Oh, whoops. Oh, do you get super armor? Okay, that's not good. We're talking about how Carmelita sounds like Sombra. Hey, you know, the guy who wants to play. What's his name? Barkley. Barkley? What about Barkley? Isn't Barkley the polar bear from Sonic? Ah! You meant Bentley. Come on, a dude has leg cru legs crushed. You can't get his name right? Ha ha. Okay, what's this one? Heads up, Sly. I've intercepted a radio message from one He's of actually radio fun to men. play now that he has the... The, is moving towards your position. the wheelchair, actually. Great. You want me to take him? No, we need evidence that he's behind this city's tar epidemic. With some incriminating photos, we might be able to help But Sly's always been more fun to play as, for sure. Never thought we'd be helping out the cops. Really? You always seem eager to aid Inspector Fox. Yeah, well, she's different. Your average law enforcer isn't that, I don't know, attractive? Hold up, here he comes. <laughs> That's despicable. Get a picture before he finishes. This is perfect. Use your binocular to take photos. Excellent. A few more of these. <laughs> Inspect her, Fox. Bury this guy. Follow him. He might be headed for some more polluting. Amazing that he can just turn a valve and oil comes out of the water fountain. I don't think that's how reality works. Good thing this isn't that. Also, a lot of square footage in these houses. They're like... They're like TARDISes. They're bigger on the inside. He's at it, 
again. Get a picture. That poor bird bath. I guess more of a bird death trap now. He's on the move again. Keep it up, Sly. This is some great work. to sing opera. That's his nervous tick. saying Ave Maria. Damn it. Crap. Oh. I'm so slow, I'm never gonna catch it. On camera. Okay, camera, 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 positioning, boat, boat, boat. Keep on it. We want to make sure all this horrible polluting is fully documented. wanting me to use a boat for this. Imagine he's also keeping up appearances as like as a mobster, but also as like 
a policeman. Hey, Samir, get that engineer on the horn. Sly, see if you can latch on to the car Octavio is riding in. We should eavesdrop on his phone conversation. From the look on his face, it seems important. Yeah, Bentley also can't swim, even though turtles swim better than they walk. So... <laughs> Oh. I got a sorrow, huh? You stink. Back in my day, thieves knew how not to get a caught. Oh. I know what, but it happened, and oh. Oh, hi. Wah! Wah! Bop, 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 bop. Bop. This energy of her. This Ferris wheel was a good idea. She's a pop on the Giovanni. Nobody, but nobody it's a Pokemon mob team. boss. But still, is it gonna be enough to get things it's ready? Team for Rocket. Well, uh, when the people come to see me sing, I wanna make a show. They keep a coming. Even if they don't speak it back. One way or the other, there'll be opera fans again. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, oh, see you soon. That thief! He's twisted a time-honored amusement park ride into a tool for wrongdoing! Break open the control panel with your cane. I'm on my way to do a little rewiring. Look away if you must. You're about to witness the dark side of electrical engineering. Kill a bunch of poor innocent fish, will he? That'll do it. Exactly, exactly. It could have. He's just better that he that he got a job and then it was and then he was not booked and instead someone else was booked in his place because they were more popular. So like That's just eggs in one basket scenario, really. Like just change a little bit with the times and add something to the thing that you're missing out on. Right? Oh, don't have the parachute. I thought I did. Because instinct from two. I have to unlock the things again. Ow. Why do you guys have fireworks? I'm sure that'll come up at some point. Octavio's base of operation. Nice place. Sure to be a few coins laying around in there. What's the plan? If you can get me inside to one of Octavio's computers, I should be able to hack his firewall and get the dirt on his operation. Okay. Have you got a point of entry? I'm guessing the front door's not the safest option. That wooden hatch appears to be an ideal way doesn't, to slip in undetected. Well, Madison Square and Garden doesn't like it like anything they want. That's just one that comes to mind as a venue that may, might do it, anything. Because of the notoriety of just the place itself. That's knowing nothing about venues, but... 
a venue I've heard of. You wouldn't book an opera in a place like that? Okay. No acoustics. Octavio open spaces. is known to rely on 3D technology to secure his property. In order to see the security measures, we yeah, need yeah, to yeah. utilize these depth optimizer goggles. Functional and fashionable. Nice touch, Bentley. Are they just 3D glasses that are the old red and blue type? I think that's what he handed me. Yay, destructibles. To open this door, we'll need to press the 3D security buttons at exactly the same time. Okay? On my three. One, two, three. Nice. Destructibles. Man, it is always fun in a sly game to get coins. Looks like Octavio is fond of this 3D synchronized security system. Let's do it. One, two, three. All right. Are you gonna... Are you like... Well, okay. I feel like he was bad at that last time I played this. Drat! My booster won't be enough to make it to that next door. I've made a number of improvements to my wheelchair, but none that can float me through this canal. Don't worry about it, pal. I'm sure I'll find a way across. And there seem to be plenty of boats hanging around to make a nice bridge for you. Okay, I'll wait for your signal. Also reminded that Sly got more serious as a series as every one went on. Like there's a lot more death and murders happening <laughs> between main characters and main story elements instead of just guards. swim either. Thanks for the assist, Sly. Maybe I can return the favor with some well-placed explosives. Maybe. I'm super glad I don't need to platform with you, though. Okay, stand back. Thanks, pal. Hmm, 
this door is made of four inch thick bulletproof plexiglass. Mm. My bombs won't make a dent. See if you can find a way around it through that ventilation shaft. Wait up. You're still talking and I was already through. This room's empty. Crawl a little farther. They've got to have a lock switch somewhere. Ah. Well, nice of you two to stop by. Judging from the security, we must be getting close. It's live! Are you, have you joined our crew now? Oh. <laughs> yeah. I thought I broke him because I pressed the button while he was still there. You know what, the remake must have changed the timing for that, because I remember him being one, two, three. Just like trying to mess yes, you up. Yes, a Warlitzer 700. I can splice into this easy. Just as long as you're enjoying yourself, that's the important thing. Aside from a few tense moments, that break-in seemed to go pretty well. It's not over yet. Hack the system and let's get out of here. Oh, it'll be a snap extracting the details on Octavio's operation from this old Make dinosaur. just snap, Bentley. Make the snap. Wh what? Horde battle. A delay switch? Sorry, Sly. Guess the dinosaur has teeth. I'll hack as fast as I can. Watch my back. There are sure to be guards on the way. They trolled us. I can just cook him. Nice. No, I must cook you. Be cooked. Little chicken wing. Okay. Bentley got the shit kicked out of him. They trolled us! They trolled us! No. Back, beast. Halfway there. Go in the fire, chicken little. Get in there. So close. Download complete. Now we can find out exactly what Octavio is up to. Waff. Yes. Blah. Job complete. So, according to these decrypted files, Octavio is pumping tar from underneath the foundations of buildings so he can sink them into the canals on a whim. He's going 
going to demonstrate this destructive ability to the people of Venice during his opera recital on the first day of Carnival. To counter this threat, we'll first destroy the balloons inside, advertising the recital. If no one shows up, he'll have no reason to sink a building. Next, the blueprints to the main tar vacuum have been cleverly split into three parts and hidden in local coffee houses owned by Octavia. Unfortunately, they're under constant guard, so you'll need to use a disguise to get us inside. Also, some big Vincennetti goons have been called in as insurance for the recital. Given their size, I think it's prudent to fool Carmelita's eight mercenaries into taking them out for us. And finally, we'll have to convince Murray into taking to the field. If he's learned the aboriginal ball form, it'll be just the thing for destroying the local tar reservoirs. Wait, how did you have picture slideshow pictures of Murray doing that? That's that hasn't happened yet. How do you have this power, Magical Bentley? Push attack. Okay, there's the five tag place. As in the safe house. I can turn on those watches before they take them from me. For dying. I don't need to sell it anymore? Is that, is that the case? That's cool. I just have the money right away when I rob something. Okay. That's a, that's a new thing. I don't even need to sell it back anymore. Ooh. Let's do... Oh, they're named. Turf War, Guard Duty... Run and bomb. Guard duty. I wanted to guard duty. Ah, 
Octavio keeps the blueprints to his main tar pumping station in three parts. Each is cleverly hidden behind a painting inside one of his legit coffee houses. Not very subtle, posting a full-time guard in front of a coffee house. Since we destroyed his Ferris wheel, he's gone all out on the security. In fact, he's got all his guards checking up on each other. If we're going to get inside and at the blueprints, we can't raise any suspicion. I'm with you. I'll approach the guard while in disguise and pretend to take the next shift. When the coast is clear, you head inside and swipe the blueprints. With me standing out front, no one will know that something's up. Your disguise can be a side... Oh. Venice Disguise. Press L1, L2, or R2 to assign this. Whoop. There's a power-up. When hailed by guards, make sure to memorize their passwords and say them back in a timely fashion. Take too long or mess it up, and he'll know you're a phony. Ooh. Check out that lock. Hey, you! Give me the cafe password. Sending password now. Bass, 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 soprano? Yep. Okay, I guess you're the relief shift. Uh, thanks for coming early. I got a big plans for the night. Carnival, uh, good times, eh? I can't believe that worked! You've got the worst Italian accent I've ever heard! No offense. Head inside and grab the blueprints. No telling how long till another patrol comes by. First coffee house I've ever seen. Wall to wall, these are security. I like that I can destroy all of his personal belongings that aren't related to anything we're doing as well. Coffee house. I'm also surprised I just jumped around on this a whole lot and didn't get injured once. Octavio really is old school if he's using a painting safe. My father used to crack these all the time. The trick here is finding the safe's combination hidden somewhere in the artwork. Might take some searching, but it's sure to be there. Just keep at it. Wait, there's three? Hang on. It's a three code, so it's seven nines. Nine seven nine, or four seven nine. Octavio really is old school if he's using a painting safe. My father used to crack these all the time. The trick here is finding the safe's combination hidden somewhere in the artwork. Nine, Might take some searching, seven, but it's sure to be there. Nine. Just keep at it. Okay, four, seven, nine. There we go. I angrily got the blueprints. Strong work. We're still clear up front. I almost made it through and back without touching the wires in a wheelchair. Now that is actually skill and stealth. To somehow make that stealthy. I'll 
will meet you at the next coffee shop. Once you take the guard's post, I'll move in. Second verse, same as the first. Am I hearing things? Is that a real cat? Super dead. I was chucked into the pier. Halt! Ferris wheel password! Quickly! Got it! Here it is! Soprano, alto, alto, soprano. Yep. What's the Carnivale password? Sending password that. Tenor bass, tenor, tenor. Okay. Oh, am I glad you're here. Mama's making spaghetti tonight and I'm starving. I'm gonna eat like three, no, four plates of food. I guess that you really like a cookie. Mamma mia, I want to be buried in her sauce. It's a ham. Saucy. Any problems buried? with that guy? Said he wanted to be buried in his mom's pasta sauce. Yeah. That's, uh... That's strange. Pasta sauce that tasty? I don't want to distract you or anything, but I just don't think I've ever had cooking that good. Are we like missing out on a whole universe of flavors here? I'm gonna say yes. I think we are, Sly. The more foods that you consume of difference, the better. Still missing out on the universal flavors? Yeah. There's a lot. I, I do want to try that umami flavor that's just like a tangly sensation that only works when it's combined with other foods. Otherwise you don't taste it. Some weird stuff. 968. there, partner. Awesome.
You know, maybe there's a good Italian restaurant around here. Enough with the sauce! <laughs> Keep your focus, we're on a job here! Thugs everywhere, death around every corner! You're right. We got one more coffee house to hit, then we're done. Yes, now you're talking sense! And then, we eat. Give me the cafe password. Got it. Here it is. Nice. Thanks, Bentley. Bass, 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 soprano? Yep. Yeah, you know the code, but what's my nickname? <laughs> There's only one Tony B on the payroll, and I'm famous in the family. I'm a new uh, Just got called in from Roma. They know me in Rome. I'm practically the mayor of organized crime in Rome. You telling me you never heard my nickname there? Uh, my cell phones are going off. I should take it this call. It could be the boss. Yeah, okay. Talk to some of the other guards in the area and see if any of them know Tony B's nickname. <laughs> Holt, tell me the daytime password. Kid stuff, here it is. Alto, alto, bass, bass. Okay, okay, you're legit. Hey, you know Tony B's nickname? Tony B? That cannoli, he's a, what's it called, an egomaniac. I don't know nothing about him, don't wanna know. You there! Ferris wheel password, quickly! As I expected. Here you go. Soprano, alto, alto, soprano. Sorry about that. Yep, that's the password. Sometimes I forget them, you know. You and me are both, pal. Hey, uh, you know what the Tony B's nickname is? <laughs> yeah, that fathead likes to call himself Tony the Killer B. What an idiot. I couldn't agree more. Nice job getting the nickname. You're really fitting in with these mobsters, Sly. Maybe you should switch teams. Get an apartment with the Killer B. Oh. Hey, you! What was What's last night's password? Easy one. Here you go. Wow. Alto, tenor, tenor, alto. Yep. So, big shot. What's my nickname? Oh, come on. Everyone's heard of Tony the Killer B. You're the terror of every player grounder from here at the Sicily. Ha ha ha. Real funny. Least I'm not on guard duty during Carnival. Who's got the last laugh now, tough guy? <laughs> Me. That's who. Yep, that's who. Don't take too long. If that guy comes back to chat, I'm out of here. Woot. You've got real skill with this art decryption, Bentley. It always takes me like 20 minutes to figure those things out. You're just flying through them. have this much furniture with money in it, you just gotta make sure that it explodes. Oh, is he 
dead? Okay. You've got real skill with this art decryption, Bentley. It always takes me like 20 minutes to figure those things out. You're just flying through them. Freedom, you're off work. So you should do what that means. What? 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 One, one, three. Part three? Yes. It's fine, the laser grids are always useful. Less, useless, useful less. Useless to the full. Hey. We need to hide out back in the safe house. That alarm is attracting all kinds of guards. I agree. We've got the blueprints to the tar vacuum. Our work here is done. Wow. Oh, that was pretty. Thank you very much. Let's go, Bentley. There's just too many of them. Oh, it's that one. We gotta That's get out of here. Yes, Sly. Yes. I agree. We just gotta get to the place. Uh, no. They hadn't. They kind of stopped coming. For a ah, while. The safety of the safe house. They show up in Discord sometimes, but yeah, I haven't seen them around much, no. They say they lurk in vibe as well. I think they're okay. I think they're just less hands on than they used to be with my stream, is all. Which is fair. I think they are. I think I've seen them more recently, but yeah. I should message them. I have their I have their contact. Be like, hey, you alive? You okay? <laughs> I do in fact miss them. I've taken over this Carnival fireworks stand as a base of operations for our next job. We need to take out the side and balloons advertising Dude, Octavio's Bentley. big comeback opera recital. I hear ya. If no one shows up for him to extort with his building sinking scheme, then why would he bother with the demonstration? Excavating all that tar seems like a big operation. You'd think he'd hold off until he had an audience. Bentley's eyebrows look like wedges of marble exactly. cheese. Now, I've there, cobbled I said together it. a few explosives powerful enough to destroy the anchors to those balloons. Unfortunately, I'm a little short on fuses. No, I agree. I'm of the same mind. Then, I'll be quick. Place the dynamite when you get near the anchor, or kaboom! Raccoon parts everywhere! Hey, you! Tell me the daytime of passing. 
Well. <laughs> so much for using the disguise. Remember to place the dynamite with the circle button near the anchor. Or, uh, you know, it'll blow a hole in your back. Oh, that's pretty. Excellent. One less ad polluting the Venetian skyline. Head on back to the fireworks stand. I've got another stick of TNT ready, and the wind's blowing in the right direction for stage two of our assault. That explosive had some kick. It was a child compared to this ferocious beast. Don't dilly-dally with this one. It's got a longer fuse, but you've got farther to run. Ferocious beast? Run, Sly, run! Fear the beast! <laughs> Fear the beast, Sly. Fear the beast. Boing! Boing! Alright. There we go. Ankles are mashed. Help, Sly! This guy is crazy! I've got him locked out, but oh no! Sly! He's breaking down the door! Where are you? Please help! Sly Cooper, my boy on the inner side picked up those pictures of me you sent to the cops. Nice a try, but I own this town. Put my friend down, or I'm gonna knock out all of your teeth one at a time and make you eat them. <laughs> That's the toughest talker you got. You're pathetic. Back in my day, we had no, it's pretty good actually. Make people pee their pants just as soon as a look at them. Believe me, old timer, I don't make idle threats. Oh. I know all about you and your crack little gang. You ain't nothing without these little guys' brains. So, I figure I'll just scoop them out real slow and use them to fertilize my tomato plants. I'm allergic to tomatoes. Fly! Barrier engaged. 
rage. Shock on. Crank it up. Let go of me, you geriatric fiend. Ah, that's gonna hold still. You call him geriatric? That's awesome. I just was playing as him too. Swear I'll get you for this. You won't get to be fair, he's holding the wheels down. I think they just wanted to. I think they wanted a, a running segment, and they already used Carmelita, and Neela became Clockwork, so there was no Neela anymore. You want this rant? Take him! I won't forget about this. You guys are dead! You okay, Bentley? I'm fine. My ego's bruised, but it'll heal. Is the next mission over there? It seems. Last night's password. As I expected. Here you go. Alto, tenor, tenor, alto. Okay. Only Bentley can beat. Wait, where's the safe house? There it is, okay. Safe house is over here. And I want to go get whatever power I've unlocked. So not gonna dive. Also Bentley's turn. Again. You were looking for me? 
We need your help to destroy some tar drums. I'm done with all that. I found a new path. It's full of peacefulness. Come on, what happened to the Murray? The guy who'd get into a fist fight with ten thugs wearing nothing but a towel. The guy who used to punch first and not bother asking questions later. Where's that guy? Where's my old friend? I, I'm sorry, Bentley. I, I tried to save you, but I just wasn't strong enough. Get over it, Murray. I don't blame you and never have. The only thing I feel bad about is losing my pal. Look, I want to help you. You're like my second best friend. It's just that I promised I'd stay here and peacefully meditate till the black water ran pure. Well, what if you could help us peacefully? Straight up told him Sly's a better friend. Punch anyone. I'm in. Keep it peaceful and I'll smash up anything you'd like. As a student of the Australian Dreamtime, I'm sure you've learned of the ball form. Yeah, sure, like my first week. Excellent. Tuck into ball form and clog that vent pipe. The pressure buildup should shoot you skyward. Maintain your ball form and smash into the tar drums around town. Awesome. Yeah, that's totally peaceful. I'm sure my guru wouldn't mind. Press the L1 button to go into ball form. Oh. Oh. It's kind of intense. Like pinball. Imagine pinball. Thunk. Nice work, Peace Bogger. That's one tar drum down the drain. What? Good. This is great, Murray. Those tar drums are an integral part of Octavio's scheme. With them out of the picture, you're that much closer to seeing the black water run clear. I promise.
Okay, where's that last one? There it is. Does anyone ever get one of those really, really bouncy little rubber balls from, like, vending machines back in the day? Or dollar store, I guess. Just fling it, it goes everywhere. I gotta keep my height all the way over. Yeah, those bouncy balls are the greatest. greatest. Sometimes you got them as rewards from arcades, actually. Oh shit, Heads remember up. arcades? <laughs> those used to be fun and not needing cards. You just had tokens that didn't seem to gouge you as hard. I mean... I've been mostly console gaming all my life, so, like, I didn't really get a chance to get used to arcades before they were already gone. Really nice work, Murray. It's a pleasure to see you back in action. Yeah, well, I haven't forgotten who my friends are. I'm just playing with a different deck. <laughs> Ba 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 ba. Okay, gadgets, gadgets. No? Okay. Well, I'm gonna take a quick break here. About five minutes shouldn't be too much longer. Everybody that's been lurking, sit tight. We'll get some more sly action in a minute. And thanks for everyone that's been talking. I'll be back real soon.
Hello. I'm back. <laughs> Hello. Also, hi, Skitzy Bird up. Hello, good welcome to you. And, uh, homeomorphic, thank you for gifting a sub. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Okay, so sly, tier four, and is there another one? We got a question for you. Okay, go go right ahead. I'm I'm listening. Have you ever heard of a bread sandwich? By definition, sandwiches have something in between the bread. And if there isn't, then I call it a biscuit. Biscuit. Ah, fuck, I got shot in the head. I really bounced back from that. Like when the Big Macs have the have the uh, buns in the middle. I'm sure it's a real thing. I just think it's defined wrong. Sounds British. Looks like you found bread. one of Octavio's Vincenetti beans. Giant bread sandwich. You on your way to the police station for the old bait and switch? Yeah. Based on the logic that your other bread sandwich is bread between two pieces of bread, then yes, a sliced loaf would be a bread sandwich. Hey, uh, all you big cops, go home. We don't need no more stupid dogs in Venezia. I might not be a real cop, but I've got feelings, pal. And you've just hurt them. <laughs> you talking to me, fruitcake? Cause I don't need a uh, turning, turning the mobsters Eat against the actual punk. cops. This was a good plan, Bentley. Now we can just sit back and watch the fireworks. Thank you. I pride myself on deviousness these days. With her ape guard under fire, there's a 93% chance that Carmelita will arrive and take out the entire Vincenetti gang. Devious. Inspector of Pucks, I'm glad to see you. This Vincenetti puke is giving me all I can handle. Stand your ground, soldier. We'll take them together. Comfort nickel between your two pieces of bread. That's be different. Oh shit! I play as Carmelita. I don't remember that. Slice of toast is bread between slices of regular bread. Okay. Well, at my point of fact, it is a bread sandwich because it is different in the middle. Toast bread sandwich. It's like three toasts. Because then it's a stack of toast. Nothing holding it together. It needs to be binded somehow. Thank you. 
Again, I think it has to do with the binding agents. Like, if there's cheese holding it together, or there's, like, some kind of vegetable or meat aside from the bread, it's a sandwich. And, like, two, two pizzas? I call that a sandwich all the time. They just fold them onto each other. Because lasagna is layers of noodles, not layers of bread. You fought with honor and distinction. I'm proud of you. fill a prophecy so that Murray can join the team because he's really upset about getting Bentley's legs broken. Even though it wasn't even him that did it. Operation Tardy gone. I also like that I can just use this disguise anytime now. Hey, 
Hey, what? you! What's Octavio's house password? Kid stuff. Here it is. Tenor soprano, tenor soprano. Okay. Oh. Why didn't that do anything? Million health points, though. Good job taking out the advertising. No one's shown up to listen. No audience means no demolition demonstration. True, but to finish the job, we'll need to take out the main tar vacuum. Use your disguise to gain entry to the opera house. Then head down to the pump room and let me in through the side door. No problem, signore. <laughs> Those long legs. Halt! What's the Carnivale password? Sending the password, Sly. Tenor base, tenor, tenor. Yep. You there! Give me the cafe password. Transmitting password. Bass, 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 soprano? Sorry about that. Don't belong inside. The boss's opera recital is about to start. Alrighty. We are good and clean. I'm going to turn Stay off all this the oil. Guys, here or the operation's a bust. Halt! Tell me the daytime a password. Got it. Here it is. Alto, alto. Bass, bass. Okay. This recital is gonna be a drag. Between you and me, I hate opera. Why are you a guard for a guy that loves it? That seems dumb. You there. What's the carnival password? Easy one. Here you go. Bow. Tenor bass, tenor, tenor. Sorry about that. The boss has been practicing for months for this a day. He sings a great. Drat! Mm. A double butt door! I, I'll think of something. Just give me time. You! I don't recognize you. What's the secret soprano password? Uh, yep, here it is. Tenor bass, tenor, tenor. Okay. Pass a word to the rest of the guys that under no circumstances am I to be disturbed during my big comeback recital. Yes, sir. I'm certainly looking forward to the performance. Oh, once I'm done in the pump room, I'll be headed out to the stage. Um, if it isn't too much trouble, would you help me with this double button security door? But of course, for a fellow musical lover, it would be a pleasure. On a three. One, two, three. Be quick in there, you won't want to miss out. <laughs> Got that Sly. lock. Sly! All over here! Nice to see you, pal. Okay, we need to act quickly while the recital is getting underway. You ready with the bombs? Once I've destroyed all six tar pipes, the vacuum should start to lose suction. 
Look, if those bombs attract any guards, let me do the fighting. You just focus on taking out the tar pipes. We need to stay on schedule. Got it, then. Might take some more bombs. Okay, how about if I do this then? We've got company. Just stay on those tar pipes. This could get hairy. This is getting serious. Better. Oops, got too serious. Exploded all over the place. Looks tough. Might take some more bombs. This is getting serious. Better hurry it up with those pipes. Is there still time to catch Octavio's recital? We're right on schedule. If my calculations are correct, he should be about to perform an aria originally written as a duet. That's when we strike. Wait, what did you call the, the opera thing that you wanted him to sing? They called it an aria just now. Think he'll really let you on stage with him? Of course, he's a musician. He'll be overjoyed to have a lyrical counterpoint. Just be ready to drop the chandelier when I've lured him underneath. So it's like I'm the sandwich thing. Oh, have that grilled cheese place that has burgers, burger sandwiches made out of grilled cheeses. And the grilled cheese are the buns. Ah, Mr. Tomato Fertilizer. That stuff's yummy. You got a death wish. I couldn't resist showing you up at what you treasure most. Opera singing. You're a vocalist. Fine. A duet is coming up. We'll sing it first, and then I'll gut you. Bring it on, Grandpa. I'll sing you under the table. Wah, wah. 
You still want to play for rapper rapper? Yeah, it is kind of like this. Whoops. Switch. We never ever freeze. I'll drive. You shoot. Oh shit! It's this again. We're back in the rowboat. I need immediate pickup. Criminals are headed east. All units converge. Roger. Sorry, Cooper. This time I've got you surrounded. At least she has purpose for hunting Can us down. Can he go any faster? This is it. Shoot out his engine and we'll have him. The canal is full of cops. We're in big trouble here. Wah. Wah. Carmelita, you're a little slow on the uptake. Haven't you, like, noticed that we've taken down at least ten other mob people? And that you've taken credit for all of them. That Carmelita, what a sweet talker. Pareto, Octavio, Dr. Octopus. She ra. What's it? His name is Octavio, right? Yeah. Where's your opera now? You're gonna be quiet now when you have all of the opera you could possibly sing right now? As all eyes are on you. Oh, oh, oh. He's out of control. Get ready for a sudden stop. It didn't uh, let me finish the health bar. No, more to the left, you idiot. We are gonna crash. It's over, Octavio. You're beat. Give us the demolition switch and we'll all try to ditch these cops. You chase on me for this? Fine, the big shot. Took me six months to prepare this thing. But what the hey? I got more where this came from. You guys see that boat go out of control and jump and smash into that thing? Destruction! So cool! You think that was a cool punk? <laughs> wow, he just melted that you house. Monster! Stop it! Stop it! Whoa, Murray, man! I need your help. I've never Whoa. seen someone move that fast. Octavio's old, but he's still got it. Let's take him together. But. But I vouched my guru that I'd renounce all violence. 
and the water is still black. It'll be clear any minute. Trust me. Now, let's take him. You're right to be scared, Hippo. Your wheelchair friend should have been so smart. Who the fuck All kicks right. someone out of their wheelchair? Help. Doesn't matter if it's full of tech. That does it! I'll floss my teeth with your spine! The Murray returns! He's too fast. Lure him into the tarpaulin. That should slow him down. It's dry. I'll unlock the next one. All set with the tar. Yeah, some some villains are just very stuck in their way and don't care. It's all about the money, money, money. And money don't matter if it feels for you. Valve's empty. I'll crack another. Ready with the tar. I'm not noticing when he attacks, I guess. He's too fast. Lure him into the tar pool. That should slow him down. Moving to the next tar valve. Tar's ready to flow. Tar valve dry. I'll open another. Hang tight. What? I'm ready. Lure him in. These pumps are out of tar. I saw some more valves over by the cop station. Follow me to a fresh supply. <laughs> Without the tar, I'll crush you boys like a box! I'm not holding back no longer. Listen to the song of your death. The Murray knows no song, but the triumphant horn section of his own triumph. Quit talking, stupid kid, and die. Ow. Okay. What? 
they do so much damage? Oh, back here? That's pretty rough, He's actually. Too fast. Lure him into the tar pool. That should slow him down. I'm getting the hang of how he works, though. This one's out. I'm moving to another valve. Draw him in. I'll let loose with the tar. Can I fall for him? I'll wait to this extent. Moving to the next tar valve. What? Octamarine. With the tar. I'll, I'll say his name wrong just to incite more anger. Octomolo. Octobamo. Three. Son of a bitch. I like how people get stuck on things when I play this. Bye, Octavio! <laughs> okay, he's back. Guitar's ready to flow. That's amazing that, the, that some moonwalking has already happened twice. What if you rolled into the middle wall of strength? That's a good Hurry. idea. These pumps are out of tar. I saw some more valves over by the cop station. Follow me to a fresh supply. <laughs> Without the tar, I'll crush you boys like a box! See if it works. We. You may have more tar, but I am not holding back no longer. Listen to the song of your death. The Murray knows no song, but the triumphant horn section of his own triumph. Quit talking, a stupid kid, and die. Sure, it's viable. This one's out. I'm moving to another valve. All set with the tar. to the next tar valve. The tar's ready to flow. Empty. I'll crack another. Ready with the tar. Yeah. Oh, that's it. The old guard's out. 
got a new generation step, say. Mitch. That's right. Step it in. Big time. Come on, Murray. I got the demolition switch. Let's get Bentley and run for it. We got cops closing in. Hey. Cool. With the fight over, we went back and scraped Bentley off the pavement. It was touch and go for a while there, but we managed to sneak out right under Carmelita's nose. Octavio wasn't so lucky. The guy got 30 years behind bars for what he did to Venice. I guess Italians don't like it when you sink their landmarks. Ironically, he found success as a singer while in jail. After all, most of his old fan base was already in the cling. But the big score here was bringing our old pal back into the gang. Once he put on those gloves and that mask, it was clear to everyone, most of all him, that the Murray had returned. Hey. And the regular team is back together. Ba ba ba. Ooh. Good pose, Sly. Love that pose. Yeah, the end of the second game. Clockwork closed his beak on Bentley's legs and broke him. Giant ancient machine. And Murray was about to help him and it happened right in front of him, so he blamed himself. But we just got him back on the team. Bentley got chewed on in a previous game. Yeah, the last one. Well, uh, Rumble Down Under. Oh, Australia. Okay, we gotta go to Australia now. Yay! <laughs> Inception video games. At first, it seemed just like old times. The gang was back in action. But little by little, we learned that Murray's heart just wasn't in it. Without the guru's permission to give up on his Dreamtime training, he'd never really feel comfortable returning to the gang. We knew we needed to help him out. So, we packed up our things, whipped up some quick disguises, and headed for the Australian Outback. Nice, slime with all the piercings, that looks pretty awesome. Along the way, yeah, it Murray told awesome. us story after story about his teacher's amazing abilities. Apparently, this guru of his was capable of fantastic feats. He used the dream time to blend perfectly into his surroundings and even gain mental control over the weak-minded. If even half the stories were true, then this was a guy I just had to meet. Our gang needed to grow its ranks for a chance to get inside the Cooper vault. And this guru, this outback mystic, was looking like the best recruit we could have ever asked for. However, when we finally arrived in the Outback, I do too. it was, was a really shock dope. to find that things had changed. Also welcome, Brenda. And the guru was nowhere to be seen. Down and You went to move Australia. I got a lot of horses, wolves, and chickens, and uh, kangaroos as the guards. Go 
oh, that's a real place. Yeah, they like to... They like to do that. Five gadgets? Okay, I mean, I, I'm gonna have to grind for coins. Grind for coins here now. I'm getting behind in abilities. really tore this place up looking for Opal. Watch your step, they're sure to get rough defending their claim. I'm gonna be real, I want this uniform. Actually. This boy looks good in it. The aqua and the purple just work. dead center of Australia. That makes sense why it would be not as inhabited as well. I believe most of Australia is mostly coastal. That's what I've heard anyway. I don't know if that's true. But it would make sense. But I heard too, but it wasn't official source either, so I don't know. But it makes sense. Also makes sense why prisoners were sent there. From whenever. Okay. Sly. Start your mission. My master spends most of his time up there in that cave. Overlooking the valley and contemplating the depths of deepness. I really appreciate you breaking the news to him. Then I want to break off my training. No problem, pal. I'm looking forward to meeting him. Anybody you call Master must be heck of a guy. Oh, he's awesome! He'll get inside your head and freak you out six ways from Sunday. Uh, awesome. <laughs> um. <laughs> Sly being a supportive friend. Hello? Sorry, pal. This cave's empty. Got any other ideas where he might be? The smell? It's a long story. I had to apologize up and down for like a month before he'd speak to me again. What did you do? The unspeakable sly. The unspeakable. Well, thanks for speaking of it. I'm headed for the hut. Maybe sounds different? They might have changed voice actors. I know they did with Carmelita halfway through the series. Or after one, I mean. It's like a little bit higher and nasally and less confident, but that's actually tied into the character reasons. More than voice actor reasons. Could be the same person, could not be. I honestly can't tell. Sorry, Murray. Nobody's home. And by the looks of it, I'd say the guru is finding someone or something off here. I'm starting to think the miners might have got to him. You might be right. 
they'd come in and be all angry and yelling and he'd be all peaceful and they'd just get ticked. Then he'd try to find a middle way and they'd just go crazy and smash everything up and then haul him off. Where do you think they might have taken him? They got him! My master's a goner! Maybe we should get Bentley on the line. <laughs> it's tough to say, but given the layout of the miners' camp, I'd venture a guess that they use that area with a high fence as a makeshift stockade. Hmm. Looks like there might be a way up using that cliff below. Shouldn't be a problem. Just keep an eye out for that gyrocopter. I'm positive it's what gave away the guru's position. Good tip. Thanks, pal. Throwing me in the ocean. Oh, shit. too. Very well could be. You must be the guru. I'm a good friend of Murray's. He's come asking to be released from his training. Sure, I'll just bust you out of here and we'll go talk to him. Hi, how you doing, You seriously won't leave without your gear? Yeah, I can see that the miners have really done a number on your land here. As for your walking staff and moonstone, me and my gang have a real talent for stealing back things that were wrongfully taken. I think they should have struggled for a voice actor with that one. He also insists that we purify Ayer's Rock of all miners. Only then will the Dreamtime spirits be appeased, and the Guru will be free to use his powers. Sly must have impressed him in their conversation, because now he is requesting that Murray and I meet with him individually. Something about judging our spiritual centers. I've discovered a passage through one of the miners' caves that should make getting up to the Guru less difficult. He also mentioned that the miners had foolishly unearthed the Mask of Dark Earth. I guess it was his job to guard the thing, and now that it's out, bad things are sure to follow. Sounds like mumbo jumbo to me, but we've encountered some unexplainable phenomena over the years, so I'm not gonna rule it out yeah, as a like threat to our operation. Mind control. Bad mojo. Oh, and Miss Ruby in the first one. 
basically all the Halloween based things. <laughs> Outback Operation Day 1. Okay, I want to steal some stuff. They have a little Joey with headgear on. These dudes have a little little dude in their couch. They do. Well, at least he has the appropriate headgear. <laughs>
give me something good. Yay. 50 bucks. Whoops. Given that we're dealing with miners, I bet they stashed the goods in one of the caves around here. It's a secure location with plenty of guys on duty to provide protection. I agree. The most likely candidate is this mine shaft. It appears to have the highest number of workers coming in and out. Good place to start. I'm on it. instead of having to say night vision. But that's what that is. If they're here, the guru's items would be stashed at the far end of this cave. you latch down there? That made no sense. Go to the one I tell you to. I'm not into tearing up the environments or anything, but these caves are rich with opals. I can see why these miners are so driven. Left. And 
stuff. Right? Stop. Left. Oh, did it again. Okay. Thank you, Ray. Thank you for the care package. To take you back so to I'll take a sip of water. water. These miners are smarter than they look. They booby trapped the moonstone. It looks like a light wow, wow, wow. detonator. If I can get it outside and into the sunlight, it and, should uh, down. And while we're here, also. Flat face. Wah. Ah. But let face. It's this. Yeah, exactly. Well, I'm doing good. Um, I think I'm wrapping up pretty soon here. Just going around Australia a little bit, picking some pockets, rescuing our uh, our theme, our th our thief friend Murray's guru, who has been training him for the last year. Three, uh, this is Sly Three, and we're in a security cave that I just had to injure myself on too. Oh, and sit up straight and stretch. I didn't do that part. I did do it now. So much for sneaking. blew up. They did in fact place a bomb. But I was right by the door though. I think he just dove off the cliff trying to get me. What a dumb dude. What a dumb guy, what a dumb guy, what, 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 oh, we well, just got out of the cave. This time quickly enough. Go to the 
this other way, probably. Also steal. See his foot go? Aw, oh, his foot went when he scratched his back of his neck. Aw. It's a bad dog, though. These caves have no ambient light whatsoever. Fortunately, it seems the Guru's Moonstone is providing enough illumination to let you see. Watch your step. These vine pits are deep. Crack a safe. See, the analog stick and this doesn't actually match up. Oh my god. Left. Left. Oh. Right. Got the staff. Wonder what's so special about this staff. Another booby trap for a stick? These guys are paranoid. And from the sound of it, they've called in reinforcements. Nothing like a horde of angry dingoes to make things a bit more interesting. <laughs> Oh. I've been attacked. my way. This place is going to explode with you in it. Shit. Come on. Let me not explode. Don't explode. Don't randomly explode in my face. Don't explode in my face. Don't explode in my face. Don't run out of time. Fuck. What are you doing? Why didn't you grab it?
this it? Yes. I went that other way, but I didn't even need to. What sense does that make? Wah. Okay. Just... Can't see me here, can you? Again, can't tell if that's really their kid or a stuffed animal. I'm gonna t take a bet that it's a uh, stuffy and not their child. Hey, Ice Wolf, thank you for lurking. Back to the safe house because then I can get some upgrades. Good thing it doesn't matter if they see your safe house. Okay, we got two hundred, four hundred, three hundred. Well, Bentley's alarm clock for sure, because it used to be Sly's alarm clock. And, uh, I think I'm going to call it here. So thank you for everyone for coming, and I appreciate, uh, yeah, appreciate y'all coming. Uh, I have a Discord. If you're interested, you can use the command and uh, VODs, same thing, and schedule, same thing, if you do not see them on your About page on or off mobile. But either way, you should see all of it. We got Crash 3 coming up tomorrow, Crash Bandicoot Warped, and uh, we're starting Mass Effect 2 next week, and I think we're going to do a retro game the following day, just some more N64 stuff. So yeah, without further ado, I will choose somebody to raid and uh, we'll get out of here. I have to pick someone that I wish. Wah, wah. Castle walls preventing people from accessing the death track. Well, we got some more muzzle playing Kaizo. And that's always a good time to see someone do something impossible. So let's go over there and say hey. So the message for Raid is going to be... Um, it's going to be... Fox... It's going to be Fox Raid with emotes blocking both sides as borders, much like this. That. That'll be Raid. If you want to substitute your own emotes or uh, my older ones, that's also good. Whatever you can do, or just Fox Raid with this text, that's all fine. Uh, so yeah, see you guys next time, and uh, thank you for tuning in. Well, 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 well.